In this problem, we're told, pulling up on a rope, you lift a 7.27 kilogram bucket of water from a well with an acceleration of 1.24 meters per second squared. What is the tension in the rope? So the first thing you always want to do pro uh, with problems dealing with force is draw a free body diagram representing what's going on. So we have this bucket. It's going to be 7.27 kilograms, and we know it's going to be accelerating at 1.24 meters per second squared. In labeling the forces, we know it's going to have a force going down, which is just going to be the weight force, right? So every object has a weight force. It's going to be pulling it down. Uh, mg. So that's that. We know it's going to have a tension, right? There's going to be a force of tension right here. I'm going to call it T, which is what we're solving for, because there's going to be some force pulling it up, which is the tension. And so those are basically going to be the two forces acting on it. And the way we're going to solve for T is by taking the sum of the forces in the y direction. So when I say y, I'm basically talking about the forces along this line. So basically what we're going to do is take the sum of the forces along that line. So according to New uh, Newton's second law, the net force is equal to mass times acceleration. And so what we're going to do is find the net force in the y, and you do that by taking the sum of the forces in the y. So the sum of the forces in the y, which is the net force, equals mass times acceleration. And so we know mass times acceleration is equal to the sum of the forces in the y. So when I say sum of the forces, that just means add the forces up in the y direction. So in the y, we have two forces. We have the tension force and we have the weight force. And so if it's going upwards, we want to label it positive, And if it's going downwards, you want to label it negative. So ma is going to be equal to t because it's going upwards, and then minus mg because it's going downwards. And so what this means is if we add mg to the other side, it's going to allow us to solve for t. So t is just going to be equal to ma plus mg. And I'm just going to factor out an m of both terms. So m or t is going to be equal to the mass multiplied by uh, the acceleration multiply, or plus the gravity. So t is going to be equal to the mass of our object. In this case, it's 7.27 kilograms times the acceleration, which is uh, 1.24, and then plus gravity. So g is just going to be 9.8 or 9.81. I'll just use 9.81. But yeah, so you want to go ahead and plug this in. So the tension force is going to be equal to 7.27 times 1.24 plus 9.81. And so when you go ahead and do this, you're going to get that t equals 80.3335. So it's going to be equal to about 80. I'm just going to round uh, to the whole number. You can round however you want, but it's going to be equal to about 80 newtons. So the tension uh, in the rope is going to be equal to about 80 newtons. So yeah, this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.